Picture this, it's a warm summer evening, and you find yourself nestled in the cozy embrace of your living room's worn-out armchair. The flickering glow of the television screen casts a mesmerizing spell, and there, before your eyes, unfolds the opening credits of the 1976 TV series, Black Sheep Squadron. The familiar strains of the theme song reverberate through the room, instantly transporting you to a bygone era of aviation adventure. As you think back to that first encounter with the Misfit Squadron led by the irrepressible Pappy Boyington, it's impossible not to recall the rush of excitement that coursed through you. The daring aerial dogfights, the camaraderie among the pilots, and the relentless pursuit of the enemy, all of it etched in your memory. Perhaps it was the unforgettable charisma of Robert Conrad as Pappy Boyington that drew you in, or maybe it was the gripping stories of heroism against the backdrop of the Pacific Theater during World War II. Whatever it was, Black Sheep Squadron left an indelible mark on your heart, and those memorable moments continue to resonate with you to this day. Now, let's dive deeper into the fascinating world of this iconic series, where we'll uncover some intriguing random facts that even the most dedicated fans might not know. So, fasten your seatbelts and get ready for a journey back in time with Black Sheep Squadron. 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 In a twist of television fate, the 1976 TV series Black Sheep Squadron underwent a remarkable transformation that would make even the most seasoned Hollywood producer raise an eyebrow. Originally christened Ba Ba Black Sheep during its inaugural season, the show faced an early cancellation due to unfavorable ratings. However, fate had other plans for this high-flying series. NBC, grappling with their own share of troubles in the subsequent season, decided to take a gamble by resurrecting the show. To mark this reincarnation, they rebranded it as Black Sheep Squadron. This change not only breathed new life into the series, but also ensured its place in television history. The name change, while significant, was not the only curious detail about Black Sheep Squadron. In a playful nod to the rival show that was dominating the ratings at the time, Charlie's Angels, the addition of nurses to the regular cast came with a witty twist. These medical professionals were cheekily referred to as Pappy Lambs in the opening credits, creating a memorable rivalry on and off the screen. But perhaps one of the most enigmatic facts about the show lies in its casting. In the pilot episode, the character Boyle was portrayed by Jake Mitchell. Yet, in a baffling turn of events, every subsequent episode featured Larry Minetti in the role. The reasons behind this casting change remain shrouded in mystery, adding another layer of intrigue to the Black Sheep Squadron saga. In the annals of television history, few series can claim to have undergone such a dramatic transformation as Black Sheep Squadron. From a humble beginning as Ba Ba Black Sheep to a triumphant return as Black Sheep Squadron, this show defied the odds and etched its name into the TV Hall of Fame with clever wordplay and intriguing casting choices. In the world of television, as in life, sometimes the most unexpected twists can lead to the greatest triumphs, and Black Sheep Squadron is a testament to that. So, the next time you stumble upon this classic series, remember the remarkable journey it undertook, all in the name of entertainment. In 1976, television audiences were introduced to the high-flying adventures of the Black Sheep Squadron, a World War II drama centered around the unconventional antics of a group of Marine Corps aviators. While the series, known for its action-packed aerial sequences and charismatic characters, garnered a dedicated following, it faced an unexpected hurdle that contributed to its eventual cancellation. One contributing factor to the cancellation of Black Sheep Squadron was the loss of rights to use actual WWII footage during the show. The series initially relied on authentic wartime footage to recreate the thrilling dogfights and combat scenes that captivated viewers. However, as the show progressed, the producers encountered legal challenges and budget constraints related to the use of this historical material. This forced the creative team to rely more heavily on recreations and simulations, which, while impressive, couldn't fully capture the visceral realism of genuine wartime footage. The loss of access to actual WWII footage was a blow to the show's authenticity and may have played a role in its declining popularity. Black Sheep Squadron was known for its dedication to historical accuracy, and the inability to utilize genuine footage may have contributed to its downfall. Nevertheless, the series remains a fondly remembered classic, thanks in no small part to its memorable characters and the camaraderie of the Black Sheep Squadron. 
Led by the charismatic Pappy Boyington, portrayed by Robert Conrad, the show's ensemble cast and action-packed storylines left a lasting impact on television history. While Black Sheep Squadron faced challenges on its way to becoming a beloved cult classic, its legacy endures as a testament to the enduring appeal of wartime drama and the resourcefulness of its creators. Even without access to actual WWII footage, the show managed to capture the imaginations of viewers and take them on a thrilling ride through the skies of the Pacific Theater. So, as we look back on this iconic series, we can't help but marvel at how it soared, even when faced with unexpected turbulence on its journey through television history. 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 In the opening credits of the 1976 TV series Black Sheep Squadron, keen-eyed viewers might have noticed an intriguing detail. A chain-link fence in the background as the wheel chocks were being pulled. This seemingly minor detail, while easily overlooked, provides a fascinating glimpse into the production of the show. The inclusion of the chain link fence was not a deliberate artistic choice, but rather a product of the show's filming location. Black Sheep Squadron, which followed the exploits of a group of misfit Marine Corps aviators during World War II, was primarily filmed at the Santa Rosa Naval Air Station in California. The presence of the chain link fence in the opening credits serves as a reminder of the show's commitment to authenticity, as it was filmed on an active military base. While many viewers may not have noticed this subtle detail, it speaks to the dedication of the show's creators to provide an authentic portrayal of the era and setting. It's a testament to the meticulous attention to detail that went into the production of Black Sheep Squadron, a series that aimed to capture the spirit of the daring pilots it portrayed. As fans of the series continue to revisit Black Sheep Squadron, they can appreciate the little touches like the chain link fence in the opening credits that contributed to the show's overall authenticity and immersive storytelling. And in the words of the opening song, which contains a line from the Whiffenpoof song by Bing Crosby featuring Fred Waring and the Glee Club, we're poor little lambs who have lost our way, ba ba ba, we're little black sheep who have gone astray, ba ba ba. These lyrics resonate with the show's theme of a group of unconventional pilots finding their way in the midst of war, making the connection between the song and the series all the more meaningful. Intriguingly, Red West joined the cast of Black Sheep Squadron in 1977. He was in the midst of filming in August of that year when he received the heartbreaking news of the death of his former boss and lifelong friend, Elvis Presley. This tragic personal moment added a layer of poignancy to Red West's time on the show and serves as a reminder of the interconnectedness of the entertainment world. In conclusion, the presence of the chain link fence in the opening credits of Black Sheep Squadron is a subtle detail that speaks to the show's commitment to authenticity. Combined with the use of lyrics from the Whiffenpoof song and the personal tragedy faced by cast member Red West, it adds depth and significance to this beloved 1976 TV series. TV series. TV series. In 1976, the TV series Black Sheep Squadron soared into American living rooms, captivating audiences with its World War II aerial combat drama. While the show remains a cult classic, it conceals a fascinating tidbit about the aircraft used in its production. The iconic Japanese Zeros featured in the series were not crafted exclusively for the show. Instead, they had a cinematic origin, having been initially built for the epic 1970 film Tora. Tora, Tora. The movie depicted the events leading up to the Pearl Harbor attack, and these meticulously recreated Zeros were instrumental in bringing that historical moment to life on the silver screen. Black Sheep Squadron enthusiasts may not have been aware that the very planes engaged in thrilling dogfights over the fictional Pacific Islands had already made their cinematic mark. This crossover between two distinct productions adds a layer of historical resonance to the TV series, deepening its connection to the era it aimed to portray. While Black Sheep Squadron enjoyed a devoted following, it ultimately faced cancellation despite its popularity. A remarkable statistic underscores just how deeply the show had ingrained itself in the hearts of American viewers. At the time of its cancellation, the series commanded a remarkable 32% share of the television audience. This means that nearly one-third of all televisions in the United States were tuned in to watch the exploits of Pappy Boyington and his ragtag crew of misfit pilots. Such a substantial audience share is a testament to the show's widespread appeal. Moreover, the series was lauded for its attention to historical detail, including the portrayal of combat tactics. 
Some keen-eyed viewers may have noticed a peculiar detail during the dogfights. In certain scenes, the pilots were shown holding their triggers for extended periods of time. This might appear contrary to standard practice, which dictated firing in 3-5 to five second bursts. The reason behind this divergence was the Corsair's limited ammunition capacity, allowing for just under 30 seconds of continuous firing. With 400 rounds per gun in the inner two guns and 375 rounds for the outer gun, pilots had to make every shot count, making for intense and strategic aerial combat sequences. In conclusion, Black Sheep Squadron not only delivered gripping storytelling but also incorporated intriguing elements from its cinematic predecessor. Its cancellation with a 32% share of the viewing audience underscored its cultural impact while its attention to historical accuracy and depicting aerial combat tactics added depth to its narrative. This 1976 TV series continues to be a celebrated piece of television history, immortalizing the daring exploits of its titular squadron. As we bid adieu to the enthralling journey through the 1976 TV series, Black Sheep Squadron, we find ourselves on the precipice of nostalgia, memories, and a deep connection with the daring exploits of Pappy Boyington and his squadron of misfit aces. This timeless masterpiece of aviation, camaraderie, and heroism has left an indelible mark on all who have had the privilege of experiencing its gripping tales. Now, it's your turn to soar with the Black Sheep. Take a moment to reflect on the unforgettable characters, the adrenaline-pumping dogfights, and the bonds forged amidst the chaos of war. What memories does this show evoke for you? Perhaps you remember the thrill of each aerial battle, or maybe the resilience and bravery of the Black Sheep have stayed with you over the years. In this digital age, sharing your thoughts and memories is easier than ever. We invite you to leave your comments below, and let's ignite a conversation that transcends time and space. Share your favorite episodes, the characters who touched your heart, or the life lessons you've gleaned from this remarkable series. Your unique perspective adds depth to the collective experience of Black Sheep Squadron. As we reminisce together, we celebrate the enduring impact of this show and the connections it has forged among its fans. Thank you for taking this journey down memory lane with us. Your time and interest in sharing your thoughts are greatly appreciated. Keep the legacy of the Black Sheep alive, and remember that every great story is enriched by the voices of those who cherish it.